Yo, yo, welcome back. Today we are going over TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring System for vehicles. Uh, if you don't know what that is, your tires and newer vehicles have these little bitty gauges or sensors inside. And what they do is they read the PSI and temperature of your tire. And that's when you get the indicator on newer vehicles of low pressure or your pressure is too high. Um, so pretty simple video today. And uh, to get into it, we're just going to dive into the uh, Portapak H4M over here. Firmware nightly 2501.29. So that is today's latest release for the nightly. All right, we're going to go down here to receive. And then under receive, we're going to scroll down to... TPMSRX, and we probably won't get anything because I'm in my garage and there's nobody driving around, but this is what you're looking at on your screen. So up here at the top, we have our frequency. So the main frequencies for TPMS is gonna be 314.9, 315, and then 433 on your megahertz area. So if we scroll this wheel, we can see that we are changing to 315, and then you can see that we are changing now to 433, and it'll just cycle back through those three frequencies. So when you are looking for TPMS, make sure that you have the appropriate antenna for such frequencies. For instance, this little diamond SRH805S can receive in the 144, 430, and 12 megahertz areas. So you probably could get the 430 megahertz uh, frequency on that one. This little guy, this GRA SCH32, can do 144, 430, and 900. And then, of course, we're going to be looking at the Comet W100RX. And this is your kind of jack of all trades antenna. Uh, can go anywhere from the 70 centimeter all the way up to the 80 megahertz. And then on the other side, we got uh, 1.2 gigahertz all the way up to the 900 megahertz area. So, this is the one that I mainly use for. Uh, doing TPMS. There is an affiliate link down below in the description for these. Uh, these are great antennas. This is a BNC model. They also sell the SMA version as well if you do want to go to BNC, but I like BNC. Don't forget that when we update our firmware to get the uh, with world maps on, the, on your SD card, if you do uh, your update via SD card, you can also use the HackerF app uh, so that, that's going to be hackerf.app on your computer. So right now it works for Windows and Linux. Uh, it does not work for Mac yet. So they do need some Mac developers uh, for that app to work. So if you guys know anybody that develops uh, and knows programming for Apple-based uh, system, reach out to the Mayhem guys on their GitHub. Let's get into the uh, settings here. So we have... KPA, and if you're in Europe or another country other than the US, you know that that is their version of how they measure pressure. And then we use PSI, so you can just scroll that to set the PSI. And then of course, most other countries use Celsius, Americans are weird, so we use Fahrenheit. And then of course you have your basic AMP, your LNA, and then your VGA. Now, again, to set those appropriate uh, VNA and LNA, you can double tap your DFU button up here, and then get into your RX status page. And then that area right over here, that is your RX saturation. So from there, we can then just kind of scroll up on those numbers and then find that balance of roughly, I like to be between 60 to 80% personally. Uh, I think like the sweet spot is like 70%, but that's how we kind of get there just by moving those little dials up and down. It's also gonna be determined of how far we are from the transmission source. So don't forget about that as well. This particular unit is in a 315 band area, but I don't think it's active because uh, usually they need to be under pressure for the sensors in there to become active. I did build a diaphragm a few months ago to test it out, but for some reason I couldn't get it going. And I think that it's also probably the what it's transmitting at may not be registered yet for the mayhem to decode that your tp is a type and we can look at the mayhem documentation over here and see the different 
types that it can currently receive. And then we have the ID, that is the ID that this sensor is transmitting out. So if you have four in your vehicle, then each one is gonna have its own ID and that can help kind of narrow down if the batteries are low or if you have a faulty sensor, if you actually have a designated unit to do TPMS like most tire shops do. And then after that, we have our pressure. We have our pressure over here and then we have our temperature and then the count of what it's counting at. And then of course we have uh, the flag, FL. That's the last one is flag. And that is the, uh, currently that's only for like uh, the Schrader branded TPMS sensors. And that can just kind of tell you a little more data on those sensors. That's pretty much the basics of TPMS. It's really short, really sweet. There's not a lot, of, there's not a lot that goes into it. Let's thank today's sponsor, PCBWay. Thank you guys for all that you do for us. If you don't know who PCBWay is, well, they do prototyping for PCBs. They do 3D printing. They also sell a lot of really cool gear um, as from soldering irons to tools to a plethora of other things. If you're not a PCB designer, but you do want to kind of build a project that is open source, you can find those PCB files. You can send those to PCBWay and then they can make that PCB or the full assembly for you like we did for the KV4PHT. And I have a few other projects that I'm working on them with to get some uh, things fully assembled that I would like to showcase and then also give away back to the community. Uh, so yeah, uh, you guys check out PCBWay for all your PCB needs as well as uh 3d printing that's pretty much all i have for you today when it comes to tpms again super simple uh app if you are just getting into the h4m porta pack or h2 uh dive into tpms drive around town with your antenna and just kind of see what you're picking up from different vehicles you know that have these sensors built into them and you can you know kind of it, every like few miles change your frequency to like from 315 to you know 314.9 then to 433 and then just kind of cycle through because again not all vehicles are using the exact same tpms in your tires that's pretty much it guys i appreciate your time don't forget to like subscribe do all that fun things it helps me out and let me know in the comments down below of anything that you would like me to showcase or review um or if you have any questions i'm more than happy to help check out the porta pack h4m uh, you can get them from open source SDR labs or every now and then rabbit labs gets them in stock. Check out the mayhem firmware for the Porter pack. Go get those guys a bunch of love because uh, they do really, really great hard work. So we can have cool apps like this for the Porter pack. So if you have any questions, comments, shoot them down below. Uh, I also have a discord, so go ahead and check that out. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.